According to this image I found on the internet, Eevee is the most popular Pokemon in Japan. No, I didn't fact check this, but we're gonna see if Japan's favorite Pokemon evolution line can really defeat Pokemon Scarlet as a hardcore Nuzlocke. Okay, Eevee, it's time for our adventure to begin. And what better way to start my adventure than you loving me? And I know the best way to the heart of any animal, human or Pokemon, is food. So Eevee, how would you like one egg? Eevee, I offer you this egg as sacrifice for your transformation. And as predicted, Eevee loves the egg so much it decided to evolve on the spot into an Espeon. And now it's time for me and Newt the Espeon to venture out into the wide open world. And, oh, uh, by the way, the, the game is also randomized. Hello, Flamigo, how you doing there, Mace? So we can see, oh, hi, Rayquaza. Anything out in the wide open world of Palde? Oh, hi, Thunderous. Maybe we'll even see some more Eeveelutions. Oh, hi, Glesteria and Kylirex. Now, I do believe in Newt the Espeon here. I absolutely love it. You're a fantastic Eeveelution, probably my favorite. But that gym down there is scaring me a little bit because if there's any ghosts or dog types, I, I can't really do much against that, can I? No, I didn't just randomize the game because I didn't want my Espeon to have to go up against a bug type gym immediately as soon as the game started. That's crazy. Why would you, why would you say that? Pneumonia, hi, what's going on? Have you seen Penny around? I just feel like this is the what if scenario where I'm actually Penny's best friend. Let me tell you something, folks. I would pay good money to never have to do this ever again. Can I just bribe the olive to go into the goal? Do you take American Express olive? No! God damn it! As a man with no discernible skills, I'm very happy that Skillshare is sponsoring today's video. As a man on the internet a lot, I can confirm that Skillshare and also my channel is one of the two things that aren't a complete waste of time on the internet because it allows you to learn different skills and improve your time management, personal branding, creativity. It has so many different ways for you to become better at things. As a YouTuber, I always want to be better at YouTube and I'm very lucky that MKBHD has a course on that that is specifically getting better at YouTube. But if online video content creation is not your thing, there's so many more things that you can do on Skillshare like sewing and other creative things. Skillshare has hundreds of career focused classes and the new year is the best time to reinvent yourself and become better at things. Traditional work and jobs don't really fit everyone and Skillshare allows you to build skills that allows you to make a career that best fits you because only you know what best fits you. No goal is too small. Skillshare has a wide, wide range of classes that can help you become better at just the minutest little details. Like for me, I want more views, which means I can use the marketing your brand or business with video class to become better at marketing, which means more views. Brilliant. So come on, time to learn something. If you use my link in the description, the first 1,000 people to sign up will get a free month trial. So go on, treat yourself. Sign up at the link down in there in the description and get yourself that free month. Try it out and I hope you love it. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's move on. Now for the thing I'm really scared for, the gym battle. After a little bit of a detour. You see, a little known fact about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is that it's an open world game, which no one really talks about. The fact that you can go anywhere at any point, no one mentions it. So I'm just making a little quick detour here to break into someone's backyard and get a move that doesn't feel like I'm gonna tickle someone's chinny chin chin. There we go, Psyshock, that's better. Now, realistically, it's a really bad idea to walk into a gym battle with just one Pokemon that gets hard counted by like 17 types. But thankfully, as you can see, it's the perfect time to show you another hidden evolution method for one of the evolutions. I'm sure you can guess what it's gonna be. You can actually evolve an Eevee by waterboarding it. It's really easy, you just put it in there and then uh, there you go. And look at that, Bob's your uncle and you suddenly have a Vaporeon. Now I'm feeling a lot more confident to take on this first gym leader. All right, Casey, let's see what you got. Leading with a Steenie, okay. Good thing I led with Newt and not Sugar the Vaporeon. Let's see if getting that Psy Shock was worth it. Big hit here, Nuke. Nuke, it's Newt, I knew you could do it. Nice, that's a one shot. Oh, oh no. King, King Gambit already in the first gym? Oh, that's not necessary. I'm a little bit concerned. But thankfully we have Sugar to switch into. Also, I didn't mention that the abilities are also randomized. So Sugar has neutralizing gas and Newt has sniper. So that's not bad. I don't know what this King Gambit's gonna do, but I'm scared of all of it. Oh no, it's building up Fury Cutters. Oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage soon. My only option is to terrestrialize Water Pulse immediately because if I let it build up Fury Cutters, that's it, I'm just gonna lose immediately. Come on, Sugar. Huge Water Pulse, yeah, I'm talking 50. 60% damage. Oh, that's just 50. Can we get a confusion? No. Okay, that Fury Cut is building up in damage. Can we just get a nice little kill there? If I get a low roll on this Water Pulse, then it's not gonna kill. Please take out the King Gambit. Oh no, it didn't kill. Okay, okay, we're gonna take more damage. Oh, that's so much damage. 
Fortunately, I do have a berry on this thing. But Jesus Christ, you're a scary one. Good thing you don't outspeed me or else I literally just would have died. Yeah, get that thing out here, please. Unfortunately, you still have your terror in the back, which is not scary. I'm not, no, no, not me. Oh, Flapple. Good. It's a grass dragon type. The perfect counter to me. Whose bloody idea was it to randomize this? Okay, it's a terror. Wait, terror. Terra fire? <laughs> Terra fire? Hold on a second. I've changed my mind. I'm actually totally okay with this now. Ooh, Acrobatics did 19 points of damage though. But there's no way you survive a water pulse. I mean, you might kill me if you do, but please don't survive it. Yes! Okay, that probably would have done 20 damage next turn if I didn't kill there. So that's fantastic news. All right, first gym, only slightly traumatizing. Fantastic. All right, first gym, gone. Hopefully the second one will be less traumatizing, but we'll see. While I head over to Artisan, why don't I teach you another hidden evolution method for Flareon? All right, so you're going to want to season your EV a little bit with some salt and then toss it in the oven about 180 degrees Celsius for, I'd say, probably around 20 to 30 minutes. And, and yes, it really is that easy to get restaurant quality Flareons at home. And Etna's ability is insomnia, prevents it from going to sleep. That's not bad. Ah, beautiful artisan. And Melon is here as well. How did you dye just those two little parts of your hair? That must have been hard. Also, your hairline is incredibly strong. Can you, can you teach me how to do that? Now it's time for everyone's favorite gym test. I mean, look, even the Sunflora statue looks happy. Uh, all the Sunflora here looks so happy. Just look how happy this beat up one is. <laughs> but enough about happiness. Let's get back to the stress, shall we? Gym battle number two. Come on, Brassius. One day, Brassius, you will whip me with that. Oh, Hatena. Oh, a psychic versus psychic fight, is it? Well, I got Newt in the front. Couple Psy Shocks will do you in nice and easy, though. And a Magneton next. Well, it's a good thing I have something for just this occasion. This is why we got Etna. Supersonic dodge it. Good job, Etna. Moved in time with my shot. What? Are we friends? Don't do that, Enna. Stop winning because you love me. Oh, the Magneton have Aftermath. I mean, a Fire Fang was good enough to kill it, but did a little bit of damage on its way out as well. Ooh, a Terra Belly Ball as the ace. I swear you're stealing from Iono, but I'll let it slide this time. I promise I won't tell. And it's a Terra Dragon. Oh, no. All right, well, that kind of sucks. My Fire Fang did literally no damage now. Oh, and you've got Water Gun. You must feel nice and special. Well, this is why we have Newt in the back. Oh, no. He's got fast charge. He's begun charging power. Special defense going up would scare me usually, but I'm a Psy Shock user, which attacks you on your defense, not your special defense. Well, that didn't really do that much damage, actually, to be fair. God, he's still charging. He must not have access to fast charge. Still using slow charge, are we? Oh, that must have been a high roll because that did so much more damage. That wasn't even a crit. Nice. Well done, Newton. That is badge number two. Damn, don't we look so sick and cool and epic? All right, two gym badges. We're not too, too bad for ourselves, are we? Okay, I can see the next objective off in the distance, but it feels a little bit rude to go into another gym battle without feeding everyone first. So let's get Newt, Sugar, and Etna out for a meal here. Oh, uh, hello. There's another Eevee here. Where, where, where did you, mate, where did you come from? All right, well, ham sandwich for everyone then, I suppose. Does everyone like their Sammy? What? You don't like... It was literally... Oh, you do like it. Okay, never mind. Where did the ham come from, though? Well, since we're here and it's nighttime and there's grout on here, why don't I teach you the special way that you're able to evolve Umbreon? So for the Umbreon evolution method, you're going to want to find your nearest Elder God. And oh, there's one. Just put your Eevee next to it. Allow it to do its thing. And it should evolve. And just like that, you get yourself an Umbreon. Spectacular. And now that I'm filled with delicious sandwich nutrients, I can finally take on this gym. Oh, hello, Dolphin. Oh, but wait, what's Nox's ability? It is Shadow Shield. Oh, okay. Half's the damage I take when I'm at full HP. Well, then don't mind if I do. And now I'm ready for the gym properly and finally. Oh, uh, it's Nematode. Nemesis wants to fight, but now nah, this shouldn't take long. Oh, Vigoroth, actually pretty good. But almost taken out in one hit, it's not bad. Hey, keep it down, Vigoroth. I'm trying to sleep over here. Oh, so you're allowed to sleep, but I'm not allowed to? Yeah, all right, okay. That's fair. And a Slagoo, but what if it was Hisu, though? Why are you doing this? What a waste. It must be a part of a 7 billion IQ tactic that I just can't imagine. It's either that or she's just a moron. Oh, a Terra Cyclozar. How fancy. An electric type in the electric type gym city. Very nice. Unfortunately for you, not quite nice enough. All right, now that Neuroblastoma has been dealt with, I can do the gym. 
Finally! I don't know, you're gonna be so proud. I brought the best thing for the stream battle today. I have different multicolored, different typed cats and dogs. And if there's anything I know about the internet, it's that they love cats and dogs. Also, I'm from 2008. Have we moved on from that yet? All right, it's a four versus four match as well, so that makes it fair. This is a situation where I really should have got a leafy on or jolty on, but still, a couple of side shocks is gonna kill this right easy. Don't get confused, Newt. Don't get nice. Good job. Well done, Newt. I'm so proud of you. I knew you could do it. I knew it. I knew it. you could do it. I knew it. you could do it. <laughs> It's a good one. I should make a joke about that in the video. Oh, Hatrin, that's terrifying. But I have a plan. See, I know I'm weak to fairy with Nox, but I have Shadow Shield and I went and got the leftovers as well. So even if you hit me with some fairy type moves as a Hatrin, I can just let the leftovers recover me back up to full, get my Shadow Shield back. And yes, it may take three days for me to actually end up killing the Hatrin, but still, I'm gonna win eventually. Life Jew, wait, does that restore its health? Oh no. I may be gone sometime. Yep, here we go again. Cool, this is great. Are you having fun, Hatrin? Are you, can you really say that you're having a good time right now? Slowly, I'm whizzling you down point by point. I'll win eventually. Yes, finally, it's dead. Jesus, that took entirely too long. Thankfully, it's gonna get easier now. Uh, Volcarona is on the field. But wait, I have Snarl. Do you have any bug type moves yet? I can lower your special attack with Snarl and I mean, what can you really do to me? Whirlwind? Oh, bye-bye, so long, see you later. Oh no, not Newt. It's not like Newt can do way more damage to you now. I think you did that on purpose, didn't you, Volcarona? Oh, that was a crit! I'm sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't have done that. Jesus, mate, you are just a psychic type enjoyer, aren't you? Oh, that's right, you terrestrialize into a poison type. Okay, no, 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 I'm the Nox. I'm the toxic one here. Dude, Shadow Shield and Leftovers is such a good combination. I just keep getting all my health back. Oh, Disarming Voice. A fairy type move. A good idea, but that also builds up damage on a turn-by-turn -turn basis, so... And I also missed Snarl, which is really, really good. And I didn't get my Shadow Shield back that turn either. Okay, this could hurt. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot more coming up. Good thing I didn't lose more, miss all my Snarl, literals. As long as I keep using Snarl, the disarming voice won't get that much stronger, and then I can beat you. It's just a battle of attrition, really. And there we have it, as Bathra goes down. Beautifully done, Nox. This is why we added them to the team. We're still early in the game, but I'm getting quite attached to the gang right now. We got Nox, Etna, Sugar, and New. What an amazing squad. All right, now we just need to get from Lavencia all the way to Karasurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsurfsur
Yay! You might be wondering where I'm getting all these EVs from, but it's crazy where you can Amazon Prime these days. Well, it's gym time, but one sandwich is not enough to keep me full for the entire adventure. Seriously, how do these 10-year-olds go on entire country-spanning adventures without eating anything? We're gonna need to get a big order in to make sure that we have the energy that we need to finish this. Hello, wait, how you doing? Uh, let's see, can I get, uh, I'll get two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese and a large soda. Wait, the secret menu item was two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese and a large soda? No, I mean, it should have been obvious. That's really simple, to be honest. Well, I suppose the food's gonna have to wait because he's starting off with an apple tone. Ooh, not a bad start. Against Maple, who uh, doesn't really stand a good chance against an apple tone. It's got no moves that can hurt it. Sorry, Maple, I know we just added you to the team, but you do have tangled feet. And I just realized Finn has a ripen, which ripens berries. That doesn't sound very good. But I'm gonna bloody ripen this apple up. Oh, yes, I am. Apple acid, that can't do too much. Ooh, it did a little bit. And it lowers my special defense. Okay, that's not good. I need to kill this thing nice and quick. But a quadruple effective ice fang should be... Oh, it didn't kill. Okay, that's good. Be gentle with Finn. Okay, one more of those. I'm definitely dead and I don't want to miss ice fang. So we'll go with the tried and true ice shard to finish it off. Ah, Luminion, the water type that everyone definitely remembers all the time. Well, Maple, looks like you are gonna get your opportunity to shine here. The Luminion also set up the sand, which just seems like a terrible idea, to be honest. A sandy fish is only worse than a sandy cheeks. Okay, I give you the miracle seed. This razor leaf should- Oh, it just doesn't kill! But wait, the sand? You may attract me, Luminion, but I don't want to fuck a fish, so your attract does nothing to me. And the sandstorm comes in just before the aqua ring recovery, so you go down, thankfully. And the last Pokemon is a Hatterim. What if it has an Eviolite? Oh, water! That's an interesting terror type. I don't know, it kind of feels like switching into a water terror was wasn't a really good idea for you, to be honest. Wait, I'm confused. But I have tangled feet, which boosts evasion while I'm confused. So maybe that will help. I don't know. Never mind. Razor Leaf finishes off the Hatterim. Maybe think about your terrestrialization next time, Larry, yeah? But at least we had a hearty meal, which means we have the all, all the energy we need. Oh, and Nematode's back again. And of course, she wants to fight. Okay, be gentle. I've been doing good so far. Ice Cube! All right, not the best start for Maple. Let's go into Etna. Oh, you thought you were going to be clever with Freeze Dry in case I stopped in to a water type, aren't you? You thought you were smart. You're just not smart enough, sorry. Oh, you have a randomized ability, which means you don't have ice face. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ice Q. I stole Ice Q's face using technology. I did not mean to, I promise. Is that some kind of sign that mankind should stop down its technological advancement because it's harming penguins specifically? Maybe, but you also have a pig. You need to find some better Pokemon, Nicaragua. These aren't that good. Seed Sower, what, wait, whoa, 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 what does that do? You fool, I activated the seal of Oricalcos. The seedle of Oricalcos. Oh, grassy terrain, so you get healed, I see. Well, it was enough to keep you alive for one turn, but then and you just, oh my god, that did so much damage. Ooh, it just kept you long enough to kill yourself and take down. Okay. Okay, a crow gunk, not as big of an issue, thankfully. Oh, you got poison jab already, did you? Oh, okay, poison me, are we? And sucker punch? Oh, you came prepared. Unfortunately, not prepared enough, clearly. And let's see, the last Pokemon. Oh, the last Pokemon is Heatran! All right, this is a slight cause for concern. But I have Noxia, and I have access to Snarl to lower your special attack. Oh, Terra Grass! Now I can't leech seed you with Maple. Fantastic. Okay, it just seems to be going for Iron Head over and over again, which means I might be able to go into Vaporeon, but it resists water now, so that's pretty bad. Oh, but I have Aurora Beam, though. That's good. Come on, tell me Aurora Beam does a lot. Ah, oh, it's not a huge amount, but it's it's gonna do. Just will you down a little bit more. One more is gonna do it. Nice. And there we go. Okay. That was a bit scary, to be honest. Please don't have that next time I fight you. Yeah, I'll see you later. Now it's almost time for the sixth gym, and I think it's time we get a new evolution, too. Now, you can't get a ghost-type evolution because there is none yet, and I can't shoot one to create one, so I guess I'll make one love me instead. So for Sylveon, it's quite easy. You just wrap it in a nice cozy scarf and let it watch that trans rights documentary it's been interested in. And that is how you get yourself a Sylveon. And Ortia's ability is... Pixelate. What kind of randomizer is this? Wait, Pixelate is the hidden ability of Sylveon, which means the only way that I actually could have gotten it, since I'm not using hidden abilities, is if it was actually randomized 
to just get pixelate. <laughs> what are the odds on that? That's ridiculous. Well, what's a Sylveon without acrobatics? Wait, that's not what I wanted. What's a Sylveon with power jam? That's not what I wanted either. Where is that bloody TM at? What's a Sylveon without hyper voice? There it is. And that's a great Pokemon to have as I go into the double gym battle because hyper voice can hit both of them at the same time. So Odsia's hyper voice actually might be able to knock them both out on the same turn. Come on, Odsia, big damage. Okay, Pachirisu took that really nicely, but Hatterum went down. Ah, Shuppet, thematic, but pathetic and weak. So Shuppet dies immediately to a fire fang. See you later, mates. And I squeal at the Pachirisu to burst its eardrums and also make it faint. Ooh, Ace is a Lycanroc, okay. I'll just switch out Etna for safety. We don't want anything horrible to happen to it. There's little Maple. But what's that Terra type you got there? It's Terra Flying. Okay, a little bit of a weird one. Suppose that's not good for the Leafeon that I just brought in, though. Ooh, Rock Slide! We're not gonna flinch, are we? Orsia, don't you dare flinch. Damn it, Lortia, why'd you do that? Ghost Terrestrialization is the bomb. Um, is everyone in the crowd blind? Did we all get flashbanged and forget where we are? Uh-oh, its attack went up. And its defense went up. Okay, this is a 2v1 scenario, but still very scary. Oh god, here comes another Rock Slide, and it's boosted this time. Ortia's taking big damage here. No flinches. Okay, we got a Mape, uh, Leech Seed off on it. That's good. Ortia gets the Hyper Voice. Also good. Nice. Big damage. Okay, it's only a matter of time before I win. I just need to not die before then. So we'll swap out Ortia. Bring in Nox. Make sure we're nice and healed up with Maple, because we don't want to die. And then you can do as much Rock Slide as you like. Oh, that's, oh, that's a crit on Maple. Come on now, that's rude. Okay, just one more Rock Slide. It did, then you got a crit on Nox. What's with these crits? A double crit, is it? Oh, that must be nice. Can I get a crit? Oh, I didn't, but it killed the Lycanroc, though. Oh, I did get a credit. Never mind. Thank you. All right, that's 2v1. Gonna be honest, a little bit scary, but we still won. All right, I think it's time after that gym battle to get the final evolution. So Jolteon's quite an easy one. You just want your standard lightning port. USB Type-C also works as a phone charger. Just go ahead and plug that in. Leave it for about a couple hours, should be fully charged. And if you have fast charge, it should only take around five to 10 minutes before you have yourself a Jolteon. And like a man who plays Exodia and Yu-Gi-Oh, I've gathered all five special pieces of the puzzle. Oh, well, I suppose it's more like seven, isn't it? Seven evolutions. What are you, what are you doing here? Listen, nematodes, if you're gonna fight me, I want you to bring a challenge this time. That Heatran, ha, <laughs> pathetic. Oh, a score bunny, very cute. Not threatening to ride him though. I just charged this bad boy up, he's at 100% battery now. I'm afraid even for Mantis is gonna be feeling the heat, or I, I guess the heat comes from electricity, doesn't it? Regardless, lo lots of pain incoming. You better hope you've got a ground type sitting there in the back somewhere, because if not, then you're in a lot of trouble, to be honest. Dino's dead now. Ooh, a scissor. Impeccable taste. And he's terrestrializing it. Watch it be like Terra Water or Flying or something, so I just immediately one-shot it. That would be hilarious. Ooh, Ghost. Interesting. I like that. Send up your defense. A little bit silly when Raiden's out here, gonna be honest. You really should have thought more about that play. And focus energy. Using the Kaioken doesn't work if you don't actually attack at any point. It seems like Pneumonia still has some lessons to learn, but don't worry, I can teach you. I once taught my cat how to sit. Oh, what a beautiful battlefield. It's like I was just here. Who are those people in the background cheering at? There's no one there yet. Who are they looking at? That's okay, guys. I also cheer at nothing sometimes. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Yeah! Uh-oh, Sorry, I just, I just love doors. Don't worry, gang. I'll save you. I'll give you something to actually cheer at. Ooh, Carbon gonna set up screens, are you? Hadron engine. What the hell is that? What, what just happens? Electric terrain? Wait, that just gave me a buff. I'm at like 105% battery now. Thank you. Oh my god, that is so much damage. Oh, of course, those that lads, that light screen I said. I knew it was gonna see it. Yeah, that's doing a lot less now. Ooh, trying to speed up, are you? I'm afraid you're still not faster than me, no mates. Thank you very much for the electric terrain, though. That's just wonderful. Is it gonna let me one shot the survivor? I think, oh, not even close. Wow, never mind. Coil, why does no one attack me in this video game? I mean, not that I'm complaining. I mean, I can, I can win easily like this. It's actually very kind and polite that you don't attack me. We should have more of this. Oh, the light screen. I forgot about that. No, the electricity, bring it back. I missed the electric terrain. Oh, that's a big horse. Oh, all right, how well are you gonna take this? That is a two shot right there. Oh, confused, come on. My Raiden's never been confused in all of its life. It knows exactly what it wants to do. And it wants to use Thunderbolt and kill the Spectre is what it wants to do. A Ranguru has Oracalcum Pulse? Wait, isn't that the Coridon and the Maridon abilities in the same fight? What is going on? Ooh, Terra Bug, is it? Weird choice, but all right. Still think this Thunderbolt's gonna hurt a lot. Not quite a two shot though. 
trick room. Oh, you planning something? Now my speed is being used against me. You're going to try and flinch. Oh, that's a lot of damage. It's not enough, though. No flinch for you. Now we just need to tank another one. No flinch again. Raiden is absolutely insane. And that's gym battle number seven done as well. Look at my amazing balance. And now it's finally time to get the final gym badge. Everything has led up to this. Oh, hi, Cresselia. Everything has led up to this. But first, ski break. Whee! Whoa, and did it! All right, now that the government mandated allotment of fun and good times has been completed, it's time for the gym battle. How will you disappoint me, Grusha? Starting off with the Haunter, I start off with the OTR, right? Not that great. Ooh, I really should get the Shadow Ball TM, to be honest. But it's all right, since I've got Nox here. And ooh, bypassing my Shadow Shield with Nightshade. Very good plan, actually. Okay, Nox is taking more damage than I really wanted to this early on the fight. Okay, Haunter's dead, though. Nice. And you have an Armor Rouge as well? But wait a minute. Armor Rouge is Psychic type. What are you doing, bud? Nox can tank a Lava Plume, nice. No burn, please. Good. This should be super effective. Oh, that's damage. Just tank one more. Good. Still no burn. Still no burn. All right, Dark Pulse takes out Amarouche as well. Good. In it's out. No, it has in it's out. No, the red abilities. Wait, did, did Nox, did Nox hang on? Nox fainted. No, a first death. Oh, no. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that is devastating. Come on. Oh, you want a fairy fight, do you? Well, I'll give you a bloody fairy fight if that's what you want. Life dude, that, that restores your health. What are you doing? You're, just, you're Really? We're just going to keep doing this? Seriously? I mean, I can hyper voice until the cows come home. I don't care. Eventually, you lose this. Ah, now you want to attack, but it's too little too late, I'm afraid. Maybe you'll think a bit more next time. Or maybe not. God of Oz have really small heads. Lucario. Okay, I have no idea what the terror type is going to be, but I think my safe a switch here is probably sugar the vaporeon wait i think i think that's rock oh i really hope that is rock that'd be perfect meteor mash oh i'm glad i did not stay in oh no it's saying of sword stance okay muddy water please don't miss now muddy water didn't miss i don't know if it's gonna do enough damage it does okay nice good because that plus two attack lucario could have swept me and we got the gym badge but uh at what cost? We have to say goodbye to Nox, who valiantly sacrificed themselves on the innards of an armor rouge. Well, there's only one thing for us to do now, isn't there? And now after gathering all the gym badges with the evolutions and unfortunately losing one along the way, it's time for the Elite Four, finally. Starting off with Riku from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, it's the Ice Q that doesn't have the head ice head ability. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. What a massive shame. You must be devastated to not have a face anymore. Oh, oh, we're just starting with Garchomp now. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Please tell me that you can handle this. Oh, you dig, you smart man. But wait, you're gonna outspeed me. So actually, you're not so smart. Never mind. Got a little ice beam with your name on it. Oh, nice one shot. Well done. Ooh, and a killer watch roll. Yep, definitely gonna have to switch here. But I do have the perfect switch in Ortia. Ooh, you took that so well. Hurricane, don't get confused. This is the perfect opportunity to calm minds. And now I should be powerful enough to kill the killer watch roll. Brilliant. And your last one is Satitan. Ooh, what's this terrestrialization gonna be? Sweet, snow warning Satitan. Hold on, what? That is such a good ability for you to have. Be dragon terror type, please. That would be... Wait, is that steel? Oh, that's steel. That's so bad. Double edge. Oh, Orti is taking big damage there. It also outspeeds me. What the hell? Yeah, that didn't do much. But whether you're ice or steel, you're still weak to fire. So Fire Fang is able to finish you off. Nice. Du battle one done. And now it's Child Time, who leads with a Glalie. Of course, I've got Raiden at the front as usual. Thunderbolt is gonna do... Oh, it's a two shot. Nice. Don't get frozen, Raiden. No! Raiden get unfrozen. Oh, Raiden got unfrozen turn one. Nice. Well done. A little Larvitar, how adorable. And how dead you are after a water pulse. Reggie Dr Reggie Drago? What? Okay, well, I have Ice Beam, so that's supposed to be super effective, isn't it? That's a two shot. Get the freeze, didn't... Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 it's dragon dancing. Let's, let's just, let's think about this for a second. You de-danced again, you got greedy. You got so greedy, gobble, gobble, gobble gook. Well, that'll bloody teach you to get greedy in the future, won't it? Ooh, and a rev of a room as well. Well, I should be okay against this. I can fire off a surf, it should do a decent amount of damage. Oh, that's huge. No. Nope. Gunk shot, hang on. That hurts. But the second one finishes you off. Oh my god, you also have a Sandy Shocks. Okay, that's not good. That thing kind of owns my team. Apart from Maple, though. And it's a Terra Ghost, which is fine, I think. Don't paralyze me. Please be gentle. Thank you. I'm gonna lead seed you first. And now we just go for the kill with the Leaf Blade. Big hits. Ooh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Oh, sc screeching, are you? That's a 
Terrible idea, but okay. One more leaf blade should do it. Nice! Sandy Shocks goes down. Fantastic. And the child has been destroyed. All right, now it's Larry time. Start off with a hound zoom. Oh, it's a dog versus dog fight. An ironic dog fight in a person that would usually use flying things. <gasps> it has lightning rod! Well, that's that's terrible. All right, time to panic switch into sugar. Tank the flamethrower. Come on. Ooh, that sells a decent amount. But a surf should be able to knock it out in one hit. Nice, good. Fracture comes out and is promptly vaporized. Oh, God. Fat. Actually, this is very nice sword dance fodder for my maple here. Now that I've gotten to plus six, I'll promptly kill this blissy and also its entire family tree. And your signature is a cloth. Very brave. Also very stupid. But, oh, of course you get the bloody terror flying. As am I still strong enough to kill you in one hit though? Come on, I mean I'm plus six. God, I was so close. The second one will do the job though. Good job, maple. I may have dunked on maple, but it really came out in this battle. And the boss rush is almost over. We have one more elite four member of and he starts off with a Calyrex, obviously. Yeah, no, no, it's it's no big deal. It's it's just a Calyrex, right? <laughs> oh, that Shadow Ball's not quite a two shot. Sets up grassy terrain, though. Okay. Second one puts you in range of dying. Come on, we can tank a psychic. It's not gonna hurt that much. Oh, well, it really didn't, Jesus. I tell you what, though, this Elite Four is out for blood. Ah, uh, Scovelane should probably skedaddle in this situation. See you later. Thankfully, Etna resists both of those things. Solar beam. Mate, we're in a building. There's no sun in here. Oh, and a firefine takes it out. Nice. Then there there is a Gumi. Oh, there was a Gumi. It's, it's dead now. And a Rillaboom. Look at you. Endeavoring a Pokemon that has a lower HP stat than you. Very smart. Suppose I can't expect intelligence from a dead man. And a Terra Shelda as the ace. How impressive. Oh, it shell smashed. Uh, okay, that's a little scarier. And it used its boosted speed to boost its defense, even though I'm a special attacker. Yeah, you deserve this loss hassle, you idiot. And now there remains only one challenge. Although Gita is usually disappointing, we'll see what she's like in this randomizer. All right, Gita, let's see what you do. <laughs> Oh, come on. Gita, mate, what is going on? Are you having a hard time at home or something? What's happening? Oh, okay. A fully evolved Pokemon. We're improving. Good job. And it does a ton of damage. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm getting out of here. Oh, Volt Switch just in cash. Should have Thunderbolt. It would have killed. You can tank it, though, sugar. Ooh, that still hurts. But your strongest Pokemon so far just took itself out. <laughs> oh, now we're using our big brains. Type advantages. Yes, good idea. Ooh, and a light screen as well. Don't mind me just pondering my orbs. Still pondering, by the way. The light screen is gone. Pondering is done. Oh, come on, don't do it again. I just set up three car mines. Oh, and I still one-shot you even through light screen, Jesus. Now, what is your final Pokemon, Gita? Reveal to me the strongest of the top champion. It's, it's, it's a, it's a com- Oh no, it's a male combi. You can't be serious, Gita. You're supposed to be the strongest. I mean, uh... <coughs> oh no, not a male combi. There's only one way I could defeat this. I have to use my strongest move. Hyper Beam Pixelate. <laughs> oh, that was cruel. Good thing Nematodes is the real champion in this game. I love how the game doesn't heal you after the champion fight and they just let you walk away. Even the game doesn't think Gita is good enough to be a proper champion. All right, pneumonia. It's time for our all out power. Leading off with Sizzle. Wait a minute, you used to have that. Did you keep the Sizzle from before? Well, there's no way it's gonna be able to tank two Thunderbolts and it really can't. Ooh, x is gonna hurt though. Hang on right. Oh, I can't tank two of those either, Jesus. But thankfully I have more speed, so Sizzle gets sent to the Shadow Realm. And then you also have a, what is with all these strong trainers having Rillaboom? Well, I do want, not want none of this, so I'll Volt Switch into my deliciously pot roasted Etna, which can, ooh, tank a wood hammer, but not that well. Endeavor again. When will Rillaboom learn not to use Endeavor? Not quickly enough to save itself, apparently. Ooh, you're a fan of the starters, aren't you? But good thing I've got Maple here to tank a hit or two. We'll only need to tank one though, right? Oh yes. Get your doofy ass haircut out of here. No, Nemato, don't send out a baby. The poor thing's done nothing wrong and now it's crying because you sent it into a fight it's not ready for. What is wrong with you? Well, to be honest, I, I never liked kids. Oh, Rotom. Rotom flying form, okay. Uh, Rotom flying form with Drizzle, okay. Let's see how much a psychic can do. Ooh, it's just a two shot. Come on, we're doing just enough damage to take it out. Nice, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And your last one is a Grimmsnarl, which I'm definitely allergic to as Nespion. I think to prevent any bad reactions, I should go into Ortia. Of course it's Terra Normal. Bloody course it is. Oh, that play rough still hurts a lot though. How much can a hyper voice do? Oh, it does just over half. Wait, are we gonna dodge the play rough? We dodged it! Which means one more hyper voice takes out the Grim Snarl. And I'll tell you what, if you like and subscribe right now, I'll do the Seda fight as well. You already know it's in the video, so. You already know you're gonna like and subscribe.
please, please, come on. Wow, I was teleported to Seda's room with the power of your likes and subscriptions. <laughs> Evolution team versus the final boss, and wait, you stole my idea. Hang about there, robot. You've forgotten the main rule of having Eevees, is that my Eevee can beat up your Eevee. Oh, that's a big flare blitz. Ooh, Raiden did not like that at all. But another Thunderbolt takes it out. Please have a full Evolution team. That'd be so funny. Oh my god, it's Harry Yami on. Wow, she does. All right, that idea has gone straight out the window. Never mind. Headlong rush. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, new. Yeah, that did definitely hurt. But that lowered your special defense, you moron. Oh, nice. Good job. She also decided to use a Marrel for some reason. Can't quite comprehend that one. And Seda decides to claim the prize for the only person ever to use Alamomola, which won't last very long. Wait, being psychic charged it with power. Not too much power, though, right? Wow, that did nothing. That was not much power charge. Need to get yourself a fast charge, Alamomola. Not impressed. Seda, why? Why would you use Makuita? You had the evolved version and it didn't work then. All right, now it's time to find out the final Pokemon of the entire... Uh, the, the, the final Pokemon of the run is a Venonat with As One. <laughs> okay. Well, I am terrified. Just kidding. I'm not actually. That was a lie. But what's not a lie is the fact that you should subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. We destroyed Seda and the Evolutions are absolutely fantastic. Make sure you've done that.